in New Guinea <laughs> and in Melanesia the Aku Aku Islanders and their mysterious belief in Thor Heyerdahl the god of sinking rafts. <laughs> this week we visited a lost white tribe on whom no human eye has ever set foot. <laughs> mysterious, strange and remote. They for instance believe that if you post a message in the mouth of this iron god, a horned uniformed devil will come, rip open the stomach, take out the message, and lose it forever. <laughs> Therefore, there is no written language. However, they communicate with this strange wooden box on which they pound out incessant rhythms. <laughs> Good evening, here is the nine o'clock news. They speak a strange patois. They, for instance, call these the apples and the pears. <laughs> the apples and the pears. And they believe if you ascend these apples and pears, you come to a room where a white goddess awaits you. He strips away his drab exterior plumage to reveal a surprisingly delicate underlayer. <laughs> to arouse the female further, he dons what are called wincy et pyjamas. <laughs> Now, by drawing his fingernails across his body, he induces a pre-sexual trance. Now, the ceremonial vessel, called the Gazanda, is taken out and purified for the night. We leave the forest and travel overland until we came to a great septic river. We cross into a great coin-operated valley where the natives seek their food. <laughs> Can you ask the hunter what he is doing? Certainly, I'll, I'll try. Here, Eric, this is going to kill you. Go on, tell us, I can't wait. This geezer here wants to know what you're doing. Well, I'm frying bleeding fish, aren't I? He says he's frying bleeding fish. <laughs> frying bleeding fish. Well, you can tell him it's a right bloody job and all because shot the acres coming here, half boats after this, asking for a piece of rock, two a skate and six pellets of chips, and give you a 20 quid note to pay for it. Makes me bloody spit! <laughs> <laughs> he says the gods are angry. <laughs> The hunter! Oh, the hunter has caught a tortoise in the boiling rock pool and has placed it on a piece of matting that the natives believe come from the sun. <laughs> this is the day of the sun when the males of the tribe pay homage to the family god, which is revered and worshipped above all else. Hello! Hello. Mo to car. Motor car, yes. 3.4 litre drag. Twin overhead camshaft. This is a member of the AA tribe. <laughs> <laughs> down on 
by the great R.A.C. tribe who live in another world. Sniff at 380 quid. What? Cockneys build these delicate wayside shrines, and such is their reverence for them that they keep the insides spotlessly clean. <laughs> this is a temple that no woman can enter. <laughs> this is Bert Terrible, a handmaiden of the temple. He worships the sacred pools called Little Woods. <laughs> the Cockanese come here and seek relief in these cells of meditation. Let us listen to them at their devotion. song of their great water god. A fitting ending to these people called the Kokanis. <laughs> now, what will happen to these people when civilization catches oh, up with them? Get out of the 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 get out of